All right, this live is all about my biceps. Yep. <laughs> it has purpose, okay? I'm not just being vain. But I was like, I was doing a little selfie, going to do a little thing in my story. And I was like, dude, my biceps look freaking huge today. <laughs> just being real. And I thought I would share because my mind literally like looks for analogies all day, every day. I've been this way ever since I was a little kid. And I was thinking about that. And I was thinking about my biceps. And I was like, I was like, I know why my biceps grow and are big because I have really good connection to my biceps. When I'm training biceps, like I freaking know. So I'm sure those of you who weight lift, you have like those areas, right? Where you're like, dude, I got it on this one, right? I feel super connected to this muscle group. I got it. I can push the crap out of that muscle group. And I was thinking about this with life, okay? So when, when I trust my biceps, I trust them because I know I have a good connection to them. I've built that over time. Right. When I first, I remember I, some of you may have heard me say, I like feel so bad for my poor ex-husband. Cause I was totally that wife that like every once in a while he would talk me into lifting weights with him and I would have like stink face and I'd be like, this isn't doing anything. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Justin. But like, yeah, it was, it was because I didn't have a good connection to any of my muscles. Right. So it wasn't super fun and I didn't have trust in them. And I was thinking about this with life, like as you're connecting to a certain side of yourself, maybe it's your healthy side of yourself. Maybe it's entrepreneurial. You're, you're pushing into a business side of yourself. Maybe you're becoming a parent. Maybe you're pushing into self love. Maybe you're pushing into spirituality, whatever it is. At first, it's very uncomfortable because you don't have a good connection to this side of yourself. And it's tempting to want to just like not do it anymore because it's not as fun. You don't know what you're doing. You don't feel super, super sure. There's all these self doubts, defeating thoughts. But as you keep pushing into that side, as that side of yourself is calling you, as you become more connected to your business side, your parenting side, your spiritual side, your self loving side, over time, the more connected you come, become to that side of yourself, the more you start to love it, the more you start to have fun and the more you start to trust that side of yourself intuition, listening to intuition. Most of y'all blocked from your intuition because you don't trust it. And people ask me all the time, like, how come you like hear these intuitive thoughts? I'm like, you do too. You do too. You just haven't started trusting them. I was like, do some low risk ones. That's what I tell people. Do some low, when your intuition hits you and it's a low risk thing, start trying that. So you start to trust it. You start to see these things. I'm telling you, if it's a big hitter on your intuition, if you can be ballsy enough to trust that one and do what it's asking you to do in your life, holy shit, you will start trusting your intuition so much. I, once upon a time, was a stay-at-home mom who was overweight, who was getting in shape, and I was starting to get in shape, and it was starting to work, and I started a little Instagram account. It was called Lift and Run. There's like a small handful of you who started following me way back in my Lift and Run days. Oh my God. And it was just me sharing, holy crap, lifting weights is making me a better runner, right? And from that place of just, you know, had like a thousand followers or something, I had this intuitive hit and it was like, Tara, you have a special role to play in health and fitness. And there were some things I needed to change in my life, including getting divorced. And it was like, if you don't do it, you're never going to see it out. And it's so true because my people pleasing side, I would have been too much of an inconvenience doing what I do now. And I won't get into details, but at that time, that intuitive thought felt freaking nuts. I thought I was crazy. I thought I was delusional. <laughs> okay. So it's, it's happening. It's happening. And I, I listened to it. I trusted it because deep down I knew. So do you trust that side of yourself? If you never have, probably not. If you've never lifted biceps before, do you like, su are you like super like, yeah, my biceps got it. No, you're like feeling a little disempowered. Like, is this even working? Like, am I doing this right? That's what it feels like in any part of our life when we're beginners. And I always say, if you're not willing to suck at something in front of other people, then you're never going to grow. Mm-hmm. Everybody who's good at excellent at something they do, they once sucked at it, right? They might've had like a small amount of talent, but they weren't that good, <laughs> you know? And so like, I'm using my, my biceps, look, look my biceps are so big today <laughs> as an example, because I was like, yeah, I have a connection to my biceps, a really strong one. And I trust them. So I know that I can push deeper and deeper and deeper into my lifts with my biceps. 
I have that with my spiritual connection now. I trust the hell out of it. Trust it. Trust it. Even when it's hard and uncomfortable and it's like, mm -mm -mm -mm. not that way, Tara, this way, let that go, go this way. I trust it now because I've built that connection with it. So what in your life are you starting into right now? What is it? Is it healthy eating? Is it getting healthier with workouts? Is it entrepreneurship? Is it relationship? Is it parenting? What is it? I mean, I hope there's something in your life that that's new that you're pushing into and growing. So just, I wanted to share, it's, it's not super awesome at first. It's not, it's, it, it's like interesting and sort of exciting because it's new, but like you're not super good at it. So you don't have as much trust in yourself and you got to keep pushing through that sucky. So anyway, that's all I want to say is like, these biceps are big because I have a connection, very strong connection to them with my brain. Like I have a strong neuromuscular connection and because of that, I trust them. So just thought I'd share. We have to build that connection with whatever side of ourself is new. And for a lot of people that's healing and being nice to yourself is like walking on freaking Mars. <laughs> it's scary. If you've been using self abuse and inner critic and you got to get your shit together and that mentality as a motivator your entire life, and you're stepping into like, be kind to myself and accept myself. Oh shit. That is real uncomfortable for people because there's fear because that fear has been keeping you in that place. Cause you're afraid you're going to end up some 500 pound person on the couch with Doritos all over your face and a loser. Yeah. If you're not mean to yourself, that's not what's going to happen. You're going to start believing in yourself. You're going to figuratively grow biceps. <laughs> you're going to be like, yeah, I got this right. Self abuse self pressure. I got to I got to freaking do better. I got to be better. It's pressure. And if I take a piece of paper that's this big and I put pressure on it, what do I do? I make it smaller. Yeah. But if I give it some energy and some love, maybe throw it in the air, it floats and it's carefree and happy. And that's what happens to you in life when you start being nice to yourself. So that's a real uncomfortable foreign soil for a lot of people is being kind to themselves. And it's the greatest trick of personal growth. <laughs> we think we got to be hard on ourselves. I got to get my shit together. Come on. No. Every once in a while, like this morning, sometimes I have to like revisit, like being a little bit more militant about time, my time management, but it's not in a mean way. So I made a, I was like, you got to be out the door at 530, Tara. Let's go. Let's see how this one works. Right. So it's, but it's like kind. It's like, yeah, cause I'm seeing how this goes. Right? Not like, come on, you got to do it. You suck. Like <laughs> that, that is honestly how most people approach personal growth. And it's like, mm, you're going to become like that piece of paper. That's like this. And you can barely stand all the pressure all the time. Pressure. You guys are going to be hearing messages about me from about pressure. Pressure is like, oh my gosh, it's so bad. Everyone is pressuring the shit out of themselves everywhere. And when you can, when you can t instead take the freaking pressure off and like, what do I want? What do I think? What do I need? And now it comes from the inside out. Now you're giving, now your energy is like this instead of like this. <laughs> so where are you building a relationship, a connection with in yourself right now in your life? And just know that it's, it's a process and you're not going to be super good at it at first. Okay. It's, it's, and as you, as you believe in yourself and are kind to yourself and you say, everybody starts somewhere, everybody starts somewhere. Just watch me. I got this. That energy is what will keep you going. Not, oh, you missed yesterday. Never mind. I just give up. Mm -mm. Process. Build that trust in yourself. Okay. I got to go guys. Thank you for joining me in my talk about my biceps. <laughs> Hopefully there was some value for, for you in there. All right. Bye guys.